What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Shelly Finkel, Deontay Wilder, Eddie Hearn, Anthony Joshua. Get this. Wilder's manager says that Hearn knows how to reach us on the Joshua fight. Shelly Finkel, co-promoter to heavyweight contender Deontay Wilder, says there is no issue with facing Anthony Joshua in 2023. Wilder returned earlier this month with a vicious one-punch knockout of Robert Alenius in the first round at the Barclays Center. The victory allowed Wilder to bounce back after back-to-back -back stoppage losses to the hands of the WBC heavyweight champion, Tyson Fury. Eddie Hearn, promoter of Joshua, had contacted Finkel a few months ago, and Finkel um, did not respond to um, Eddie Hearn because he was focused on Robert Hellenius, okay? And, of course, we all know what happened. He sent a letter, email. He didn't respond. Then after Wilder responded, or before Wilder uh, responded with a knockout, he um, explained why he didn't respond. OK, now that he's done, we'll see if Eddie will come with the truckloads of money that he said and the Joshua deal that he said. We're here. He knows how to reach us. So we'll see. We'll see if the Hellenius knockout changed his mind. Joshua, who is likely to return early 2023, is also looking to bounce back after suffering back to back losses to um, the hands of the unified champion, Alexander Usyk. Wilder admits a fight with Joshua should have been, have been taken several years ago when they both were world champions. He still feels strongly that the showdown with the British star is still one of the biggest fights in boxing. He says, me and Joshua should have fought years ago, could have been the undisputed championship. The chance, is, the chance isn't gone. We are both still in the business of fighting, so the opportunity will always be there, Wilder told the good fight. People still always ask me when that fight's going to happen, and he doesn't know because the fight didn't happen as of yet. So anyway, back to Shelly Finkel, the focus point. Shelly Finkel said that they know where to find us, and that's absolutely true. Um, Eddie Hearn knows exactly where to find um, Shelly Finkel, you know, and the whole idea is is reiteration um, and without ego because our personality when you take the personality out of it and you take the ego out of it which is the ego and the personality is mostly intertwined you do, you, you throw them out the window you can you can get a fight like that you can get a fight in Nigeria uh, Saudi Arabia UK at Wembley you can have that any, fight anywhere I think but the personalities and the pastime squabble has to be squashed okay just like a grape it has to be squashed because you know if you, if people talk about on either side, talk about what happened to who in this, at this point of time, what happened in 2018, what happened in 2019, what happened in 2020, what happened this year, 2022, you know, we could be in a standstill and we'll find each other in a stagnant situation and the fight won't get done because we'll talk about what used to be. Let's talk about what is. Eddie Hearn knows where to find them, but here's the thing. Eddie should reiterate, but then again, if Shelly, uh, what Shelly can do, since Shelly never replied back to the damn email, what he could start doing is starting there, taking his personality, taking his ego, and the reasoning that he used for not replying, he had, doesn't have anymore. So all Shelly Finkel has to do is reply back to that fucking email that Eddie Hearn sent him, because I'm pretty sure he has it archived or, you know, saved somewhere. It's just probably there, probably, and it's open because he's read it. So why don't he try doing that? Responding to Eddie Hearn about the truckloads of money that he's referring to now that he's ready, now that his fighter's back in the W column, now that his fighter has a newfound sense of confidence after that win. Okay, why don't we begin with that there? Counterpunch, easy. You know, saying, well, let's see if he still has the same energy after the knockout. Okay, well, let's see you take some of that energy that you know you have or always had and reply back to the damn email that, he, that Eddie Hearn sent you. And then if Eddie Hearn doesn't reply back, then you can run tell that to everybody that would listen that, hey, we, we replied back. I can show you the email that uh, we can reveal. And uh, he never replied back one time. You see what I mean? So at least we can start there before people start wagging their fingers 
And whose fault is it that this fight is once again not happening for us and the fans? Or really for both fighters to see who's the best, to see who's the king of Africa. Because they both have proud African uh, roots, okay? One's from the UK, the other one's from the USA. Both have African roots, two black men, go figure, right? So let's see who has it. Let's see who wants it. Let's see who's the baddest man on the planet. Let's see who's the best former champion around. Let's see who takes the crown. Bars. Let's see this fight happen because I think at the end of the day, since both of these guys have taken back-to-back -back losses and Deontay Wilder has made his claim back on the, will on the winning streak, let's see Anthony Joshua do the same thing and let's see him come together mid-2023. Uh, Sounds like a plan. You guys tell me what you think of Shelly Finkel saying that Eddie Hearn knows where to find us and let's see if he still has that same energy after the KO uh, of Robert Elenius. Of course, please subscribe and you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!